Uh, right then, Churchy, um, how, how do you sum that one up? <laughs> oh, it's a difficult afternoon, wasn't it, for, for us? It must have been really difficult for the fans to, to watch that. You know, we've, in the past, we've sat here and said how well we've played and lost, and I think today was the complete turnaround. I think that's probably our worst team performance, and yet we've got a result, which is, which is all that mattered today, really. We needed those three points badly. It, it seemed to turn on the, the final sort of the 10 minutes. There was what, two minutes in between the goals or whatever it was. I mean, what, what a moment. And, and a word on the winner. I mean, great, great finish by Shaq. Yeah, I think uh, Glenn made a double sub straight, you know, five minutes into the second half. Uh, we kept with the same shape, but with sort of 15, 20 minutes to go, uh, you know, we really had to do something because the game was just petering out. So uh, Glenn changed shape and, you know, that put us right on the front foot then. And, you know, when we're on the front foot, it is important that we score. And, yeah, and we did that in a in a flurry of two goals in five minutes, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, yeah, really good. Really good for Alfie, who, you know, was composed in his penalty finish, be it, you know, after a long wait, and a bit of shenanigans, but uh, and then you know, Shaq does what Shaq does, you know, one on one with a keeper, and he, he buried it. I was going to say, obviously, how pleasing is it to see Olaf, Alfie, and Shaq all on the score sheet after sort of previous games where we haven't taken our chances, all three of them on the score sheet today? Yeah, yeah, and fair play to him. So they've cut plugging away, you know, Olaf scored a, a, a breakaway goal and ran the keeper. Uh, is a penalty and then Shaq's is one on one as well which was great and we'd done we spent a bit of time on Thursday with some finishing uh, and uh, yeah that's paid dividends today You said obviously um, after the disappointment of or sorry more well, the frustration of Tuesday night what's the what's the what's the what's it like in the dressing room tonight compared to Tuesday well yeah Tuesday we were you know we thought we'd boss that game on Tuesday and come away with nothing. Today we've, you know, got out of jail really. You know, we've been on the back foot. We didn't look like we've played together before, and it was it was possibly our worst performance. And yet, you know, I'm sitting here saying to you, and we've got three points and we've won three two at home. So, yeah, the result was the most important thing today. Uh, you know, if we could have topped that with a good performance. Great, but I'm sure everyone's going happy, going home happy tonight. Obviously, next up, it's a break for the league, and we were in trophy action on Tuesday. How big a result was this to take into that trophy game next on up, Saturday? Yeah. Next Saturday, sorry. So yeah, well, we've uh, made a conscious decision to you know let all the players know how busy October is, and you know the the need for that squad to be strong and. You know, players will be coming in and out, and it's a tough month, October, for us. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit of a break for us. So, it's important we had that win today. That makes us five wins, one draw, and four defeats in the first ten, which I'm pretty sure we'd have settled for at the start of, start of this campaign. So, yeah, next week's a nice little break. Be nice to go to Parkway. And uh, get a result in the trophy, but that was that was by no means an easy game when we played them at home. We beat them three one, and you know they're a decent outfit, so it's going to be a. I was going to ask, does it does it make it easier or harder that you've previously paid them only a few weeks ago uh, to beat them? Well, psychologically, we we know we can beat them, but uh, they've had a couple of players come in and. Uh, They've struck a couple of results together, and yeah, they're, they're a good team, and it's going to be a tough test down at their place. They've got a good following, so I'd, I'd say they'd be the favourites for that tie. But uh, we'll go down there with uh, Endeavour and look to come home with a win. Uh, finally, as well, um, obviously, it wasn't the only three-two win here at the Avenue this week on Wednesday night. The under twenty-three pulled off a great three-two win against Weymouth. Yeah. As I think you said, um, uh, the number of 16 roles, it's a brand new squad this year, isn't it, for the yeah. 23 So how impressed have you been with their start to the season? Yeah, really impressed. So, 
yeah, Tuesday was a real test for them against Weymouth Thunder 23s who were unbeaten, top of the league. And uh, the, way, the way they worked themselves through that game was fantastic. You know, when uh, probably a draw on reflection was about the right result, but uh, to nick it at the end, 3-2. Yeah, couldn't be proud of Robin. Marcus stepped up, and scored that penalty, and uh, it's always nice to beat Weymouth, whatever level is at. That's brilliant. Thanks for your time, Churchy. Cheers, Cheers.